Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video today. Uh, we're playing Project Apex as you can see on the screen right here. Um, there is a reason we're in the home screen in case you haven't read the title. We're buying a new car. Yes, very very climactic I know. So there's like a mil there's like 10 cars to choose from. Now, this weekend is double money weekend. Um, basically what that means is for every lap you do you get double the money uh, per usual. So currently I have this Williams, it's got like two upgrades. The only upgrades I have on it is the front wing upgrade, uh, the weight reduction upgrade, one of them, and the fin nose upgrade. That's the only upgrades I have on the Williams. Now as you can see, yesterday I grind, yesterday, Saturday, uh, this is Sunday, yesterday I grinded like 11.5 million. Uh, I was at 1.3 million and then I used the double money to grind like crazy. So now we're at 12.5 million. So we're buying a new car. Now the cars we're gonna choose from is obviously gonna be the top ones. I mean, I would usually buy a car based on their livery, but that would be like in Ion. Now in Project Apex, it's different because when you have two cars maxed out, they aren't actually the same. They're actually different. So for example, a Max Ripple would be faster than a Max Mercedes. I personally don't like this because that's just gonna make it if that's just gonna make everyone use the same car eventually in like a few months when everyone has money and everything but it is what it is i guess so we're gonna buy the ferrari how much is the ferrari it's 9.5 million pounds i'm pretty sure that's pounds how much is the red bull red bull's 9.2 million so the stats on the ferrari are actually better uh, i think the red bull actually has a better engine no they're both the same they're about the same but the uh, the ferrari is just better and it is only 300,000 more i grind it to 12.5 million to make sure i can buy the car and instantly max it out so here we go i'm gonna buy the ferrari and there we go oh my god there's not there's not even a screen that asks are you sure you want to buy this y y when you just click it it just instantly buys but yeah there it goes 9.5 million we now have 3.01 million so let's upgrade this thing uh, arrow we're gonna start off the strikes hopefully i do actually have enough to max it out i'm i'm pretty sure this is enough strikes by that bot um keep up for any model changes because when you upgrade they, the model do, does actually change a little bit so yeah just watch out for that halo strikes uh i did it some i did see something change uh, there on the halo floor strikes uh i don't think any anything changes there diffusers on the rear so we can't see it i'm gonna buy that front wing we're gonna buy that and yeah that, that was a pretty noticeable noticeable change on the front wing rear wing beam now there's only one of them the t tray i'm pretty sure it's gonna be somewhere like down here on the venture tunnels and bot. so we have everything on aero maxed out we're gonna max out the engine now fuel buy that i see the ice the internal combustion engine buy that MGUK, 100k, uh, materials, this is gonna give us slightly less weight, and turbo. So engine, aero maxed out, now it's just the chassis, weight reduction, get that, weight reduction too, we're gonna get that as well, uh, the thin nose, it should actually change the model, okay yeah, the, phone, the nose got slightly thinner, and then the chassis rework. Okay, I saw I saw something some stuff change around this area around the cockpit but yeah we have everything maxed out now uh, let's get the stats on this thing okay I, I don't think the stats screen actually changes I think that's just a visual bug or something I think they should actually make it so that it does change whenever you upgrade but yeah hopefully I don't get that I don't get a data loss uh, I think I'm pretty sure they actually fixed it I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna screenshot this just in case you know whenever you buy a car make sure you screenshot it like this make sure you screenshot it just in case because you never know if you're gonna get that a loss but yeah we're gonna go practice we're gonna go into Hockenheim we're gonna go into Germany because it's really the only track I play on um it's the only track I actually grind it on as well so I usually set around 110 on this track let's see what lap times I could get with a maxed Ferrari. 
Alright, we're gonna start our lap now. Now, Hoppenheim kind of has broken CCs. So, hopefully, we don't get any bullshit CCs, but, uh, you know, we never know what I'm gonna happen. I, I immediately go by the turn to one somehow. Uh, there's no break upgrades, so the breaks are basically the same, but there is weight upgrades, obviously. And we get a purple sector one immediately. Uh, I wish they would add, like, break upgrades and ERS upgrades. I think, I think that would be really nice to have. But yeah, we're gonna break for this turn. We're gonna have to break a little bit earlier because we're coming in a lot faster. But yeah, already I'm feeling a bit of a difference on the front end and the straight line speed that we have. And also the car just feels so much more nimble. I can just swing it around corners a lot easier. And the purple sector too. We're actually gonna lift here because I took the entry a little bit wide. So yeah, if I if I went try to go to a flat out, I would have gotten this corner cut at the end. Because I took the entry a bit wide. I took the entry very poorly as well. Hopefully we don't get a bullshit CC here. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, that was like a 108 something. We're gonna try again. Um, yeah, also the engine sounds are a little bit weird. Oh, yeah, the engine the engine sounds are kind of weird. So hopefully they can fix that for the Ferrari. And I, th I think maybe the Haas and the Alfa Romeo uh, possibly also have the same broken engine sounds. So hopefully, hopefully they can fix it for uh, this car. Okay, that was a 106.4, holy shit. Okay, that was definitely my best haul up on this track so far. I can definitely improve on uh, some areas. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. So, obviously, maxed out cars are, like, what? Five seconds quicker. So, yeah, just take that on board, I guess. And do whatever you want with it. But, um, is it worth it grinding hours for this? Well, hell no, this is a LEGO game. But like, it was, this was double money weekend, so like, it's kind of easy. But, um, yeah. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.